this product would go into places where no other brand or company would go. And people, they, they were proud of it. They would take it and they'd be like, look, try this, try this, try this. Walk up to a group of five people. It was unlike anything you'd ever seen. Cool, so welcome to Grand Coast Science. This is, uh, this is our office from home court headquarters in Los Angeles. The building itself is from 1928, so it was actually the first Art Deco building in Los Angeles. My office is the vault. Before this all went digital, I was, I was very much an analog guy and had uh, supported that whole art movement of the glass and smoke shop industry up until coming up with this product because there was a need for discretion and for the ability for portability you know, be able to take it with you. So for me, I felt that it was a fine bounce of uh, where we had come from and where we were going. A friend of mine from New York had actually mailed me a G-Pen for my birthday right before Chris had called me. So I already was an owner, I already had one, I loved it, I was using it. I couldn't believe when he, you know, my, my best friend Chris calls me on the phone, he's the guy behind this product I've been using for the last couple of weeks, you know? So it was really, uh, it was really insane. But yeah, he, he gave me a call and was like, it's time for us, you know, to, to go to the next chapter and do something new. Um, we'll still be able to work in music, but we're gonna co come at it a different way. And that, that's what's so great about G-Pen is that we're still so heavily involved in music, art, fashion, food, everything that we love. But now we just get to come at it at a different angle. Here, this is the design lifestyle portion. So this is G-Life. Um, everything that happens in here would be uh, from the designing of a product to everything from social media, the marketing, all of our photography and video stuff happens and comes out of this office. So from a collaborative standpoint, telling the story is really like the one thing that a lot of people have lost in collaborations. It's like it's so easy for us to just take and put our name on their t-shirt or their name on our packaging and call it a collaboration. But I think to tell a story and actually get the people together and, and you know, make a true collaborative process, that's where uh, this department right here really shines. This is actually uh, from a gifting suite that we did at a Coachella party a couple years ago with the artist Bert Rodriguez and the idea was to have a claw machine where we had all the sponsors from the party place items in there and then people were able to play it free until they won something. So there were G-Pens in there, uh, Sir, Club 75, Claw, Dr. Romanelli, everybody put uh, items in and then there was a neon and the, the whole premise of the, the piece that Bert Rodriguez did was it was um, I will always let you win and so the W in the win flickered on and off and it was I will always let you in so it was the idea of gifting someone is an emotional thing. Arguably the most important thing that we've done next to starting G-Pen was the, you know, the partnership with Snoop. Um, it was kind of a long, uh, a long courting process that, you know, came through, you know, several individuals up to management to us meeting in this office here when it was a conference room and it wasn't my office. The synergy was there, and at at the time um, they were seeking this out. We realized that it was much more than just um, just doing a collaboration. That we wanted this to be a long-term partnership, and we like to use like the the reference of like Nike to Jordan, the way that they um, you know they snagged him. We feel like Snoop is an equivalent icon in um, pop culture and that which we deal with. We got wrote up in the Times, but in fashion section as a as an accessory, which was cool, you know? I mean, for for us to be in that regards and then be like, yeah, well, it's, it's not only is it not bad or you're not writing it, it's not a slant, it's not like a slam piece, but it's like, oh yeah, people are just, it's fashionable. It's cool and fashionable now. We like really skip a whole area of, of stigma. That's the thing. It's like, when you do this, if you had to like go over here and light it off of this, it already looks bad. Yeah, right. That's the problem. Right. You know, that's the, the difference of having to use a torch or flame of any kind versus using a push button. Yeah. You know, the digital analog, it just takes away all of the stigma.
I can stage this shot a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know that one? In the blueberry. Oh, we'll do, we'll do a take two on that. That was awesome, though.